what's up, y'all? Happy uh, full moon in Virgo. Um, it's 2-24-2024, but it's also 8-8, okay? Today is a very abundant um, portal for you, okay? Make sure you're doing the meditation. Make sure you're doing the protection. Make sure you're doing energy returns and clearing calling all your power back to you and separating your energy from other people's energy that is very important <clears throat> a fiery climax approaches y'all i forgot to hold that more a fiery climax approaches let's see testing one two all right a fiery climax approaches. Don't allow your pride to get in the way. This going to be some quick messages to y'all. We're going to see what messages Spirit got for you right now. What else? Give me some more moon messages, Spirit. Show the world the real you, period. You ain't got to be perfect. You know, just as long as you're real, as long as you're honest. Take time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. Somebody is needing a second for themselves or to just relax and relax your mind. And just breathe. Because um, somebody may be needing to get out of nature, open a window, go to the door, breathe in some good fresh air. Um... But somebody is needing to just calm and relax your mind because everything is okay. Um, also, in order for you to become blessed, you have to focus on the blessings and not the hardship that you're going through. And I know that may seem hard to do, but that's the way the law of attraction works. So um, it will become easier with time. Right now, remember, the portal is within you. You are the portal. So right now you should be journaling through the 369 method. Make sure any money or finances that you got going on, make sure you're blessing it. <clears throat> Emotions are running high. Mm -hmm. That's why Spirit's saying it's time to take time to grieve. Somebody about to show up and show the world the real them. I feel like this is you. This is your person. Because um, y'all marrying each other for real. Um, but there's an ending to a tough cycle. There's an ending to... A karmic cycle and this would have this is like years of karmic cycles that you've been going through one after the next after the next because there was a big lesson that you needed to learn excuse me whether it was from family whether it was from friends um relationship partnerships whatever it may be I feel like you've been on an ongoing cycle and I feel like you've learned a huge lesson and you're ready for the next phase of your life. <laughs> yeah, be bold and make the first move. Somebody is about to approach. Well, I just got like permission to approach. Somebody asking spirit for permission could be asking you on the spiritual realm um, for permission to approach you um, if it's okay to approach you. Um yeah somebody is in their king queen energy like their empress or emperor energy this is like a boss a leader this is somebody who understands their position and also recognize your position communication is key and your hard work is paying off i'm telling you somebody about to approach somebody is definitely about to approach okay your hard work is paying off keep going look surrender to the divine a time for healing it's time to release negativity. Somebody is letting go of something from the past that has been holding them back. Okay, this has, like I said, has been an ongoing cycle. Look, I separated from the karmic spirit. I separated from the karmic cycles. I promise you, I can't make this up. <laughs> I promise you, okay? So somebody is now like over and done with something that has been ongoing since, maybe since they were a kid, like... It's because it's like if you don't learn a lesson the first time, it will just keep following you with different people. Same devils, same devil energy, different people. Because it's an entity that you had to um, overcome. 
And it could have been something that you were running from your own demon, something that was inside you or your person. What else, Spirit? Enjoying good memories we share. So somebody is reminiscing about you, thinking about the times that y'all shared, the the conversations that y'all have had. Um, especially if y'all actually spent time together. I feel like it was just comfortable with you. It just flow. Um, this person was afraid of that. Like how can like they never experienced like love at first sight like that. So to experience that, it was scary for them, okay? And it could have been scary for you too as well, okay? Um, you know, falling in love with somebody at first sight and never having experienced that type of energy before because it was very cosmic. It was very divine. It was definitely destined for y'all to come into contact. Can you imagine? Some of you may have met your person online. Like, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter where you met them at because nowadays we're on an online society anyway everybody's online everybody does everything online shopping everything and the fact that you ran into your person like i'm talking about your person person like for, especially for those of you on a um, twin flame journey you ran into them online or wherever you ran in, in a market because i was about to say in line yeah gifted somebody is highly gifted somebody also wants to gift you something um, somebody gifts are coming to the forefront, something that has been sleeping. It always been in them, but it has been sleep. I feel burdened by what's going on in my life. So this is your person. They want to come, they want to show up as their authentic self when it comes to you. They know that you have been authentic. Okay. They also know that you're gifted. Okay. Yeah, something about gifts. We're gonna clarify. I'm finally figuring things out promise you i also feel like your person gifts are starting to enhance and yours could be heightening because it's all about leveling up okay um this person is feeling very emotional could be overly emotional and that's why they're needing to breathe um they for sure divine masculine for sure you need to be returning energy and stuff like that because um, most of these divine masculines were in third party situations or had a lot of people around them that don't need to be around them. You got to remove their energy too as well. 333, your manifestations are coming into fruition. Ascendant Master's guidance is nothing these people can do. Anybody that was going against you, going against your divine miss, mission, your divine purpose, um, a lot of people just have um, selfish energy, very foolish um, to think that they can go against God. Let's see. Standing in my power and standing up for myself. Standing in my power and standing up for myself. You're shining like a star. I'm telling you, this person feels like you're very highly gifted. You're talented. You have more talents than one. And it's for a reason because you're meant to be an empress. An empress is somebody who, who can master multiple things at one time. Can, hand, can run multiple businesses. An empress runs an empire with the emperor so take the roles as it resonate for you i know what i know that i'm strong but us strong ones will submit to a man or woman that can lead so somebody is feeling like i really feel like they they are going through a lot or this person also feels like if they were going through something you would be able to like they could depend on you you get what i'm saying like, because we got, I feel burdened, and then we got, I feel burdened by what's going on in my life, and I know that I'm strong, but us strong ones will submit to a man or woman that can lead. I feel like they feel like you're somebody they could submit to, or that has been their issue, being able to depend on people or, or submit to anybody. Because I feel like with society rules, people think that only the woman is supposed to submit to the man, but it's supposed to go both ways. Y'all both surrender and submit to spirit. And then y'all jump in the driver's seat when it's time to. It's going to be times where the, fe the feminine has to jump in the driver's seat. Okay? And then it's going to be times where the masculine is definitely um, in the driver's seat. 
So I feel like somebody is trying to let go of their burdens. Somebody is about to drop their burdens. What else? <clears throat> Freeing themselves from, from burdens. Somebody ready to yell to the world like, this is the person I love. Somebody wants they astral travel to you. Look, astral travel. Somebody could be being blocked from astral traveling to you. Um, I feel like this karmic energy is trying to find out where you live at. I don't know why that just came up. Well, I do know why it came up. But um, they're blocked from that. Some of these karmics are skilled dream walkers or astral travelers. Um, they want to find your address through your dream state. Um, they definitely barking up the wrong tree. Spirit is, I'm telling you, spirit about to knock all of them down. Like a, like bowling, bowling pins. Like, and they all fall down. <clears throat> What's going on? People laughed at your karma. People threw stuff at you to try to hurt you. And then laugh when you fell down. But see, that's the thing. You the type of person... Even if you fall, you won't always get back up and be able to get it all back again. They can't do that. That's why they're jealous and envious of you. Some people are just jealous. Um, they want what you have. Some people are envious. They just don't want you to have it. They may not even want what you have. They just don't want you to be able to have it. Like They don't feel like you deserve it. I don't understand how people could just come across somebody that has a good spirit or a kind heart or just a good person. Because I feel like because you were hidden in plain sight, so many people misunderstood you. You could be the type of person that every time you don't, you only get dressed when you actually go on somewhere. But when you get dressed, you throw that stuff on. But on a regular day to day, you probably look like a whole bum every day. And then so you got people that seeing you just on your every day to day. Like, and then when you really step out, people are confused or shocked. But the whole time, you been that. You been had it within you. You're dealing with superficial people who they feel like they have to impress others. So they always trying to show up as, you know, it's fine to show up as your best self. That's that's beautiful. That's that's beautiful for you. But it's some people only looking at materialistic, superficial things. And in society, if you ain't got on Gucci or Jordans or whatever, you must you probably broke or you average. Whole time you could be a whole billionaire. You think billionaires going around dressed like billionaires or dressed like only time you see them is at a gala or something when they really dressed up for real. Billionaires walking around with sketchers and uh, and some ball shorts on, some khakis and stuff. Okay. A message was for somebody. The universe is always working for you always working for you the universe is working out for you and i feel like somebody is finally figuring that out somebody's also finally figuring out how to manifest the things that they want they said stop overthinking look astral travel came out so i'm telling you it was definitely a message in there astral travel okay then we got goddess or god activated okay so somebody is tapping into their higher self period your person is standing up for themselves um, they could be trying to communicate with you from the astral realms or the dream state. Ending this hurtful karmic cycle. Ain't that out here? Didn't they come out? I, no, we've seen it in the beginning. I'm telling you, that's what this whole reading is about. Ending this hurtful karmic cycle. And I've grown so much. I'm a better man or woman now. Let me show you the new me. I promise you. This person has finally figured out they removed the blockage of whatever was blocking them it was love spells all types of stuff it was lies somebody lying to them pretending to love and care about them this is somebody who would um, make them feel good on like days like the holidays or their birthday like oh let me buy you this let me do this and them and just had this your yeah, person under an illusion spell that they were a good person and this is somebody who was pretending very well because they got away with it for years. But the whole time that they were pretending to love 
the masculine, they were attacking the, fe the feminine and gathering people to go against the feminine, um, lying, manipulating people into thinking that the feminine, the divine feminine, somebody who is their authentic self, somebody who doesn't even check for the karmic, not even checking, not even checking, maybe know what, who the karmic is, but ain't doing not a daggone research on a karmic. That's why divine feminine, that's why you deserve everything. That's why you deserve the world. That's why so many blessings are coming, coming straight to you tenfold. Because when you had the opportunity to get revenge, because that's what these karmics tried to say. They tried to say that um, they were getting revenge on you because of you trying to... Um, they said you may have been doing love spells or trying to do things towards the masculine when the whole time you just been loving yourself and that is what's attracting the masculine but the masculine was confused because they never experienced a, a spiritual love like this so it did seem like you could have possibly been doing spell work or something and the whole time you wasn't you was innocent so they gathered all these people to go against you lying to practitioners lying to family members just ganging up have a whole a whole gang and community of people coming against you without even knowing who you are and that's why a lot of people feel bad and feel sorry because they they now recognizing who you are and that you're highly gifted because you're shining like a light and it's authentic and now a lot of people is feeling burdens by allowing somebody to lead them in down the wrong path against an innocent person can you imagine somebody saying oh that person hit me that's like, it's giving like a little kid. Like, you know how little kids used to lie back in the day, like to get what they want or to get you in trouble. So it's like giving that energy, like, oh, that person hit me. Now the whole family about to gang up and go beat up this innocent person that didn't even ever hit them. Really, that person, the one who said that you hit them, they the one who hit you. And then got a whole gang to come stalk you and try to hurt you without even knowing the whole full story. Now, I get it. Some people just going to ride regardless. It's like I'm going to ride for my folks whether they, whether they right or wrong. But in this spiritual world, in these spiritual streets, that's not how it works. Ain't no way I'm going to just attack somebody. First of all, I'm not attacking nobody, period. De defense, that's different. I'm just sending them shots back that you sent. They bouncing off of me. Boomerang effect. That's what's happening with this divine, the divine beings. Anything you sent out is being sent directly back to you. Ain't nobody doing no spells towards you. People just trying to defend what they built. That's like you coming in somebody's home. You think you can come in somebody's home and attack them? And they don't have a right to defend themselves? They go and defend themselves. So you entering people energies and people dreams um, stay trying to tap into their Kashik records. That's you coming into their home space. They got a right to defend themselves. And the best defense is just return and block your energy and return whatever energy you sent back to you. Whatever energy that's yours, is it belongs to you. And whatever energy is mine belongs to me. And we sever in the cords on all timelines and dimensions. So whatever energy that you're sending out, you're getting back. That's what's happening. Whatever's in the dark, it's going to come to the light if it haven't already. So continue to move with love, divine ones. Give me a couple more spirits. Just like two, please. Look, karmic feminine. Somebody's dealing with a karmic feminine. A, a evil karmic fem. Yeah. I'm freeing myself now. Look, the divine masculine said this. I'm freeing myself now from a karmic fem. I'm leaving it at that. I'm going to pull a couple. Um, What's this card? Currently healing my childhood trauma. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pull a couple of these. What else would you like to add to that spirit? Mm. 
right now and keep keep quiet about your blessings and what you got going on okay we got the death card and we got the judgment card so there's some endings happening we already know that that's what this whole reading has been about about endings things karmic endings things coming to an end that no longer serve you okay um you're shining like a light give me one more spirit beautiful what's this card yeah, some these karmics are now experiencing the same bad karma that they tried to send for you. They wanted you to they wanted to destiny swap you um and to send a text to you to make you go through a whole bunch of downs, down and out energy, right? A whole bunch of losses so that people can be like, so first of all, so that they're they're trying to steal your energy, so then now they're shining and you're down, so it looked like they're being blessed and you're being <laughs> and you're being uh punished. It is so crazy. But anyway, that's coming to an end. Because spirit stepped in. I can't really show these cards. These cards, these cards is crazy. <laughs> spirit stepped in about a soulmate connection. Okay, two of cups. There's an ending to a toxic cycle. Um, somebody could have had sex addictions, all types of stuff. Somebody could have been them. I'm getting gifted things for sex. Um, but there's a transformation that's undergoing right now for a two of cups situation. Somebody is wanting to communicate with you in many different ways. Um, uh, the eight of wands to the temperance could be dealing with a Sagittarius, could be dealing with a Scorpio, um, water sign, fire sign. But, um, this person wants to communicate with you, um, a lot of their talking, they want to they wanna talk to your lips with their lips, but it's not your upper lips or it's not just your upper lips. You get my drift. All right. So, let me see. <laughs> Somebody is finding balance right now. Balance is being restored and it's going to be restored through communication. It's like once this person... Get it out there, put it out there, show you who they actually are and be um, show, show you their gentle side. It's like being very patient with you, honest, um, let you know that they know exactly who you are and that they know they understand what's going on now. They finally figured things out. Um, they are going through a spiritual awakening at this time. Their soul is is like experiencing like this person is able to see everything for what it is in the midst of being around these people wow so they're about to rush in they also recognize that that what they did with the in and out energy the um knight of wands it kept them in this self-sabotaging energy being wanting the fast life they wanted the fast life give me some more cards yeah, the tower. The tower with the ace of swords and the queen of wands. This person recognized some type of truth here. Some type of truth has been revealed. They also want to express some type of truth to you about what's going on. They could have also even court their karmic partner um, with someone. With, with somebody that's in low frequency too as well. Um, I'm even getting, some of you could have picked up on this, that... Even when they were having sex at one point with other people, they were thinking about you. There's an unexpected change that's happening right now. And their spirit is saying, be confident through it. I feel like they're finally regaining their confidence now that the cycle is closing because spirit stepped in. Ain't no more love spells and all that little BS going to work. And now these karmas is trying to physically find a way to come towards you. They want you to like, they want to find a way to turn you against your person. Because it's like, if I can't have them, you definitely can't have them. Remember I said people jealous and envious. They want what you got and also don't want you to have it. But the renewals here, this is a beautiful divine renewal where, where y'all both give to each other. Y'all both give to this connection. Somebody is ready to give to this connection. They had some type of sudden epiphany. Okay, the ascended masters are helping to bring this into fruition. 333. Three, three. Stop overthinking. There's an ending to this hurtful karmic cycle. So a lot of majors fell out. 
We got the hangman now. Somebody is definitely seeing things from a different perspective. Seeing this whole thing from a different perspective. And it happened suddenly. It happened unexpectedly. Some of you by this next portal, this 3-3 portal that's coming up, you're about to witness something. Something amazing happening for you. Okay? We got judgment, the death card, the um, temperance, um, the tower, and the um, the hangman. Yeah, somebody is missing you. Somebody could also be going through financial struggle. Your person could be going through something financial because this is a loss for them. They got to start over. They got to start fresh. But this time they starting with experience. They'd be all right. I feel like y'all can figure it out together. Um, these karmics do not have permission to approach. <laughs> uh -uh. They do not have permission to approach. Justice. The justice card. Um, and plus, these karmics does not have your best interest at heart, okay? They've done a lot of injustice behind the scenes. I feel like they did more stuff than you even know about, okay? And now you're finally getting your justice. The truth is finally setting you free. Literally, the truth is setting people free from this karmic injustice that has been going on for years against you. Y'all been in court for a long time, and it seemed like it wasn't going in your favor, and now y'all finally getting the justice. All the evidence is out. Everything is clear here. So some people could actually be dealing with court situations. The court will go in your favor. Some people wanted you to go through court. Some people wanted you. They just wanted you to have loss after loss. They wanted you to lose a house. They didn't want you to have no stability. They wanted you to lose your mind. They wanted you to lose your sanity. Um, because if you... They know that you're the leader here. I know that I'm strong, but a strong ones can submit. They know that you're the leader here. And that if you tap into your higher self and continue to heal and stay in high vibration, that eventually that masculine was going to tap into that high vibration. And his vibration was going to raise high enough so that them love spells and all that shit will wear off and it won't no longer work on them. So that's why they attacked you. But you stood ten toes the whole time. And now that's why you're receiving the blessings out of this whole situation. And it's the ending to this hurtful karmic cycle. A fiery climax approaches. Somebody going out with a bang too. Masculine, if you are listening to this, all to all the divine masculines, the best way, the best revenge that you can get is to walk away and become successful. Don't allow these dark karmics to poke the bear and, and have you going crazy and lowering your frequency. Continue to heal yourself and deal with your childhood trauma. Hug on yourself. Love on yourself. Because um, even though you feel alone, spirit is with you, guiding you, helping you. Your ancestors are guiding you, protecting you. And divine feminine, you got ancestors that don't play about you. I'm talking about they move, they step for real. And people be thinking that this is a joke. But these spiritual streets ain't no joke. And you got ancestors that move about you for real. These are the same ones that probably would do move about you on the physical if they were here. If they had the ability to. But a lot of them um, ended up crossing over and the, and they crossed over to help you with this mission because they can help you better from that side you just had to learn how to help yourself you had to learn how to control your mind control your thoughts control and you had to learn to calm and you had to learn it was so many things you had to learn and you did it you did good you doing good you doing better than you even knew you was doing some days you might have thought that you weren't going to make it. Like some, some days you had to fight to get out of bed. Some days, you know what I'm saying? Some days were better than others. But through it all, you're now about to experience the justice that you deserve. While these other people going to get that bad karma that they try to send for you. Yeah, I can't take being away from you any longer. Your person may be experiencing bad karma or they feel like being away from you is bad karma or them leaving you. And they walked into some bad karma. I'm still in love with you and always will be. I know that I messed up deeply. I was in a dark place. Please forgive me. 
She tried, but she could never be you. She could never. I love your ass, and spirit babies are ready. So this person right come put up a baby up in you. It's not what it seemed. Read between the lines. I have the ring already, and a soul contract has ended, so a new divine one can um, begin. Okay, you have multiple blessings that's coming your way. Make sure you're going within, loving yourself, okay? Because this person about to take action towards this new beginning. They're coming in in emperor energy, okay? Even if they don't physically have a, a lot, they need to know that they're good as they are. You're worthy as you are right now, okay? So say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.